Good day to everyone. Welcome to the SolarWinds Service Test application. In today's rapidly evolving world of information technology, we need tools that not only keep pace with change, but also drive efficiency and reliability. That's where virtual agents come into play in IT service management. In this video, we will discover the use of virtual agent in the SolarWinds service test, the prerequisite, how to enable this feature, and how it will benefit users and technicians. To start, first we need to know what is the SolarWinds virtual agent. What is the SolarWinds virtual agent? This is available in advanced and premier packages. It is a conversational self-service chatbot available within SolarWinds service test. The virtual agent uses artificial intelligence technology to solve users' ordinary issues without a service test agent interaction. It mimics human interaction, learning, and adapting through smart conversation. It understands the user language, asks additional questions to gain context, and responds to users' queries in real time and provides a handoff to a human service test agent when required. Virtual agent can do the following. First, answer frequently asked questions. Second, point to tutorials, knowledge articles, and how-to information, all of which is stored within the virtual agent. Third, query or update records such as status of an incident, service requests, or a task. Fourth, resolving multi-step problems. Fifth, Collect issue-related information that can be forwarded to a service test agent and save significant rise time. Six, use natural language processing capabilities that allow users to engage in natural and intuitive conversation. Seventh, redirect users to chat with a live agent if the virtual agent couldn't provide the need assistant. In addition, the SolarWinds virtual agent can be configured with the following channels such as web, mobile, Microsoft Teams, or through Slack. By default, the virtual agent is disabled from the portal view. To enable virtual agent, you have to be in the platform view. From here, click Setup. Under Global Settings, click Service Portal. And then scroll down at the bottom, you will see the option there, Virtual Agent. And turn on the slider to enable direct communications between Virtual Agent, Chatbot, and requesters via the portal. Once this is enabled, if you go to the portal view and look at the bottom right side of the screen, now you will see the icon for the Virtual Agent. When users open the virtual agent from your service portal, they are greeted with the options Show Open Tickets, Create New Incident, Show Open Task, Search Knowledge, Show Assigned Tickets, and Request New Service. Now let's try to check some of the available menus in the virtual agent. Option 1 is Show Open Tickets. This option will display all the lists of all open tickets submitted by the person who is currently signed in. Here you can try various scenarios. Example, when the user wants to see all open tickets, just click on Show Open Tickets button, and then the bot will display all the tickets. Another scenario is when user wants to view all closed tickets, just type View List of My Closed Tickets, and then press Enter, and then the bot will display all the tickets that are currently closed. Another last scenario is when the user wants to view all tickets, just type show list of all tickets and then hit enter. And then the bot will display all the tickets created by the user. To view all details of tickets displayed by the virtual agent, just click on the ticket number and it will display the details as shown on the screen. You can also add comments by clicking on the Add Comment button. Type in the comment you would like to add here in the text box.
Another main new option to choose is the Create New Incident. This use case allows the user to create a ticket for an issue they are facing. To do this, you need to fill the fields displayed by the bot. The title is a mandatory field. The description box is an optional field and has a limit of 1,600 characters when entered via the chatbot. Category and Subcategory These fields are visible on this form based on the settings in the platform view. The Priority field is also visible on this form based on the settings set by the administrator in the platform view. The value of priority is set to medium by default, but you have an option to change it. Once you have filled the details needed, click on the Create button. Now the bot will search for knowledge-based articles. If no knowledge-based articles found, then the virtual agent will directly create a ticket. But if a knowledge article is found matching with your title entered, it will display a list of matching articles. You can review it and proceed with the ticket creation if it doesn't resolve your problem. So this is how you submit a ticket using the virtual agent. Now let's see some of the other features of the virtual agent. You can directly go to the home message by clicking on the home button icon. This will show you the welcome message and all the use case button. Next option is for the chat history icon. Here you can view all the queries that you asked the virtual agent. If you want to see more details like what was the query or response, you should click here. The message ID is visible here, with which you track further details in the reporting dashboard. The timestamp of conversation is visible here. The third option is to minimize the window. The last option is when you want to close it. For closing, you can click the X icon on top. With this, we have come to the end of this session. Thank you for watching.